This is Toraline's K-pop, a new polyester hybrid string. And I didn't like it, and I don't think you should either. I really did like it, so I'm gonna tell you why. And I quite liked it too. It's caviar, it's wasabi, it's K-pop, let's go. Toraline K-pop is a hybrid. It comes as one pack called K-pop. It is wasabi, one of their top selling drinks, and caviar, which is also a terrific name for it. Sounds drink. delightful. Yep. Um, combined, so you've got wasabi in the mains, you've got caviar in the crosses. Now, uh, wasabi is a powerful string, it's a round string. Both strings are slick, so you should get pl plenty of string movement, and caviar is all about feel and precision and luxuriousness. So we're trying to straddle both worlds, get power, feel, precision, all in one. To make sure we did a nice, fair and proper test, we've strung two different rackets with K-pop, the Yonex E-Zone 98 Tour and the V-Core 98. We also freshly strung another V-Core 98 and another E-Zone 98 Tour in Polytour Pro. So we had a control racket, a string that we're very used to using um, and kind of fits with those rackets as a Yonex string and a Yonex racket. So we had some direct comparison of how K-pop would behave in those two alternating rackets and against a more well-established polyester string in the market. Yes. First impressions, obviously the string's pretty wild. Yes. But it, not as wild <laughs> as the packaging. <laughs> so, so, I love the packaging. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't pack say it's gonna be massively environmentally friendly, but no. Yeah. But it's, the packaging looks terrific, it's gonna stand out on the shelf. And the strings stand out in the frame too. At different angles, I'm not sure you can tell, it looks pink, it looks yellow, it's quite, quite cool but slightly juvenile for my tastes. We you are a sophisticated man. Oh yeah, oh I'm just a grown man. We did wonder, didn't we, if it, it, would it be distracting to an opponent and is that, that yes. marginal game yes. that, mar that you're after on a tennis court? That could no, perhaps be ridiculous. We'll let you know uh, with, with the playtest whether that marginal gain was evident. <laughs> <laughs> is so, it pink? Is it yellow? <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know what to do now. So as I was saying in our serious string review, We've strung up four rackets, two with K-pop, two with Polytour Pro, so we're gonna go out on the court, test them out with some volleys, serves, trying to play with loads of spin, trying to play flatter plays as many different playing styles as we can um, to try and give the best review possible. Um, so we're gonna get on court, give them a go, and we'll let you know our individual thoughts. Toraline K-pop, a hybrid string that is trying to uh, take the best of both worlds, the power of wasabi, the feel and precision of caviar. Again, fantastic name for a string. Um, so for me, I think, I think it's, a, it's a nice combo, but I think one of the dangers that you get with, a, with any hybrid is the idea is, is that you get the best of both worlds, but there's also the danger that you get the worst of both strings. And I think that for me, when you play with wasabi, it's very clear what that string is doing. And it's powerful and it's got loads of pop, it's really lively, it's really good fun. And the idea that we're adding the caviar when you're playing with K-pop is gonna bring that down a little bit, add some more feel and add some more precision. And I think that actually what it does is probably dulls it down a little bit too much for my taste. Not sure about it, and to be honest, this is an uh, issue I often have with hybrid strings. So full disclosure, we haven't played with caviar on its own just yet, but we have used wasabi on its own, and it's absolutely brilliant. Really, really like it. And this just feels like it's ruined it to some extent. So it's like by creating that hybrid, every brand tells us you're gonna get the best of both. You're gonna get the benefits of both strings. But what they often fail to mention is just as likely that you get the negatives of both strings and that's what it feels like. It feels like this wasabi has been deadened and it's lost some of its fun and it's lost a lot of its power and its excitement because the caviar is just essentially sucking it, pulling it back down. So for that reason, that's partly the reason I dislike it and it just didn't feel as good as the Polytour, to be honest. Um, the Polytour felt more lively, it felt more, there was more action, there was more spin. So I think that you do get great pocketing. You get lots of you get lots of great dwell time. It feels really nice when you're when you're volleying, when you're trying to touch the ball around. It feels great, but it's certainly lacking some of the pop. Huh. K-pop lacking pop, um, and I think that's what that's its downfall. It's a very nice string, um, and it's good for control. It works better in the E zone for me than it did in the V core. I think because you're getting that extra power out of the V core. Uh, because you're getting that extra power out of the E-Zone compared to the V-Core. Um, 
but for me it's not quite working for my play style. Um, I like the easy access to power, so I like a powerful string. I like a string that moves a lot and gives me plenty of spin, plenty of power. And K-pop to me is just hedging its bets a little bit too much. So my personal opinion overall of the string of K-pop, um, I quite liked it. I didn't love it, but I did quite like it. I definitely preferred it in the E zone over the V core. Um, and I think that's probably because that racket is slightly more powerful in itself. So therefore the strings may be feeling a little underpowered. That didn't come, come, kind of come across. Whereas in the V core, it felt like a lot more like hard work. Obviously, Standing alone as a tennis string, it's absolutely fine. It's in where it, we're in the comparisons where it starts to feel um, like it, it suffers a little bit. So it didn't feel as good as the poly tool we were using. Um, the poly tool felt more lively. There was more spin, more power. This did feel nicer. It felt maybe more quality, like a nicer product, like, more, like a more expensive string. It felt more expensive overall. I would much prefer to either have just one string in my racket and I would choose Polytor over this combo. I would probably choose Wasabi over this combo on its own as well. And like I said, if we use Caviar on its own, then maybe that start, there's some benefits to that as well. But K-pop as a concept to me, doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Not a huge fan. Yes, it was okay, but lots of tennis strings are okay. I certainly wouldn't put this towards the top end of my favorite. We compared it to, well, I actually had my Pure Drive with Restring Zero in it, and we also had the Ezo 98 Tour with Polytor Pro, um, and we actually had a couple of other rackets with Wasabi in the full bed, which is what K-pop is in the main. So we had quite a few comparisons, and overall, this is certainly more of a control setup. Um, if you think hybrid, you have that the more powerful string in the mains, Wasabi, with Caviar, which is, slight, which is designed to be slightly more control and feel based in the crosses, and you definitely feel that. There isn't that kind of crazy pop and explosion when you contact the ball, but equally, because of that added feel, touches and feel around the net, volleys, all did feel really crisp, and touch was actually much improved compared to some of those other strings that I mentioned. So to me, the Polytor on contact it kind of felt alive like the ball was glancing off the strings firing off the strings whereas this just feels almost i don't want to say dead it feels a bit bit harsh but very very boring maybe is the better word it just ball hit strings nothing really happened i had to work so hard to get anything out of these strings um which is partly my play style and obviously may well be different but for me i just want i want my my, my strings and my racket to be a bit more fun and a bit more alive than this felt there were elements where I preferred it to the Polytor Pro, and there were also elements where I didn't prefer it. And that was pretty much when I was attacking and wanted that extra pop and bite, a bit more spin, a bit more aggression, the Polytor Pro definitely held the edge. But when I was looking for something that felt a bit more luxurious, maybe flattening it out, wanting something just to rein it in a bit, that's when the K-pop really came into its own. So I think that combination of the hybrid, I'm not personally a huge hybrid fan, even though they seem to be coming a bit back into fashion generally, um, you definitely felt that, that caviar restraining the wasabi. And I think that's gonna come down to your own personal playing style, whether you see that as a positive or a negative. But it certainly does impact the playability of the rackets. Up, up against the Polytor Pro, it is better on dwell time, it's better on pocketing. It feels more luxurious than Polytor Pro, but you, you don't get as much spin. You don't get as much pop as you do with Polytor. So it, it comes down, as always, it's personal preference. To me, it's really important how a string feels, when it feels when I contact the ball, and this feels really good. But we've also got to consider the things that we're missing. We're missing a little bit of power. We're missing that extra bit of spin. So really, you're gonna to have to try it, obviously, but think about how you play and what you want from your racket and string combination and setup. Do you want more control? Do you want more power and spin? Yep. In summary, it's a very nice string, but I think Wasabi is nicer. And I would dare to say, even though I haven't played with it yet, Caviar is nicer, but I don't like the two together because I think you get more of the worst of the two than you do the best of the two. 
I don't know. I think it depends on your playing style. Yeah. I think for some people who are looking for that, for more control. Hang on. Ben, you go in. And so do you, really. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I think it depends hugely on your own personal playing style. I don't think it's a, a necessarily a, a string characteristic that K-pop is the worst of the two. I think you might just not like the two benefits that that gives you. Yeah, you could well be right. I'm willing to accept that. I, I would say that is a point against though, because there are plenty of other strings where it doesn't matter. Yes. And well, no, it would though, because if you put it in as if you put it in as a, if you put any two strings you like as a hybrid, they may just clash and not what you might not like. Every every string, every option's got an upside and a downside. So, yeah, right? I was talking more just as a as a string, K-pop is too racket specific, it feels like, and it's too player specific to be a really, really, really good tennis string. Interesting. So I, I'm interested. I, I haven't used a lot of hybrids. I don't particularly like hybrids. I'd be interested to know. So get in touch in the comments and tell us which combinations you really like. Obviously, there are things like Champion's Choice and everyone knows about that. Tell us, tell us your hybrid combinations that you think really complement each other. Yeah, because someone, I believe someone had come in before about using Restring Zero with Wasabi. Oh. Ooh. And I also think the orange and blue can look quite cool. So I might give that a try. Orange. Pink, isn't it? Sorry, uh, a little color blonde. <laughs> <laughs> orange and blue, pink and blue. It could work. It could be a beautiful combination. Let us know what you think. Have you been using this string the whole time thinking that was orange? Yeah. <laughs> Have you? Is it not orange? That's cute. It's been really pink. Really oh. pink. Yeah. There you go. Um, so when I said I really, do, I really like the color. <laughs> um, Ben's shuffling again. Um, so we've got a full Wasabi review coming, there are lots more string reviews coming, uh, so stay tuned for that. As always, it's really helpful if you like, if you subscribe, if you set those notifications up so you don't miss a thing from PH Tennis.